Kia ora everybody and welcome along to the show. Hope you all had a lovely weekend and kept warm. Now tonight we head to Ōtutara to have a chat about caravans and our book reviewer is back in again with another great novel that you could win. But first up joining me once again is Darren Ludlow of Radio Southland. How are you? Very well thank you Janelle. Nice to be back. Thank you for coming back in. It's uh, always a, a busy time at uh, Radio Southland at this time of the year and actually what I thought we'd, we might do um, this month is have a chat about a couple of our programme makers mm -hmm. and also something exciting which we will reveal for the first time on Q Television <laughs> to the rest of the world. Um, Radio Southland's been going for about 19 years and a couple of our longest running shows are actually a jazz show and an easy listening show mm -hmm. and our jazz programme happens on Tuesday nights uh, from 7 till 9 and is presented by a guy called Russ Deer, who's just this absolute jazz aficionado. And regardless of what types of music that you like, you can't help but feel the enthusiasm that some people have. And you, Russ has got one of those, you know, silky, smoky room type voices. And he just, he knows his stuff and presents not only a, a, a fabulous wide range of music, but just some background information on the stuff that, that is, even if you're not into jazz, you can't help but be interested in. And our other show on Saturday mornings is a show called Sounds Easy, uh, which is hosted by Peter Richardson. Peter, again, is, is one of those uh, gentlemen who just has a beautiful voice, um, which is not necessarily what it's always about, but it's one of those silky voices you could listen to for ages. <laughs> and he presents uh, a show from 7.30 till 10.30, which covers a real wide range. It's, it's easy listening music, but quite a range of easy listening, um, classical to modern easy listening but also uh, a bit of humour in there as well, not only in, in the information that, that he puts forward, but you know those old comedy cuts that you might have heard on the radio yeah. when you were a kid? Well, there's those sorts of things that he'll have one of those every week as well, and it's great. I find um, a, a great, it's kind of like comfort food. You know, you, you yeah. eat something and you remember things fondly, and that's, that's what listening to Peter's Sounds Easy show on, on Saturday mornings is, is like for me. So those are a couple of the uh, the shows that we have, music-based shows that we have that have been a part of Radio South Unstable for uh, for many years. And on that subject, we're looking to increase our stable. And what we're going to do during the month of July is is have a showcase month. And the reason that we're talking about it now is that so we want people to start thinking about it. Uh, Radio Southland is about um, having a go and, and having your stories put out there into the community. So whether you're an organisation that's looking to tell people what your organisation's about, what you do, if you're looking for help or, or you've got some project that you're wanting to promote, uh, then you could have a free show. Uh, if, you're, if you're an individual who thinks, actually, I, I think I'm quite interesting or I have some different perspectives or there are some, some of my family stories are, are fascinating um, and I'd like to tell other people about it, then by all means, get in touch with us and, and we'll make that slot available for you. And the other people who are always interested, you know, the, everybody uh, at some stage has a childhood dream, I think, or maybe it was just me, of, <laughs> of having their own radio show. Um, We'll make that available. Maybe I know that we've had somebody in the past who was an Elvis fan and he wanted to do an Elvis radio show, and he did. Uh, I know a guy actually who's a big U2 fan who would just about leap at this with uh, with bells on, <laughs> and he probably will when I tell him. Or whatever type of music you're into, um, then we could give you a, a free hour to, to put together your own show. I mean, it's got to conform to broadcasting standards and all, but yeah. I mean, you yeah. have some fun, and uh, we hope that people will find out who we are and what we're about and what it's like, because a lot of people imagine that that doing radio is, is quite hard, but it's not. Uh, I liken it to talking to somebody on the telephone except the other person isn't there because you're only talking to one person mm -hmm. and we've got some, uh, some great staff and Deborah Smith and Kim Dyack who will, uh, will, will help provide the, the training um, to, to show you what it's like if you want to operate the desk or if you're doing a spoken program really it's just a case of coming and, and sitting down in a studio and, and, and saying what it is that you want to say. Um, a lot of people get worried about you know tripping over their tongue or, or making a, a blue or, or what have you. Uh, I mean, we can edit that stuff out. It's not necessarily live, so it, it's about um, having a go, finding out how easy it is, and 
uh, are having fun. Yeah. So if people want to get in touch with us, uh, what we're suggesting is there's only a limited amount of time that we've got available. Uh, so first in, best dressed, really. Uh, <laughs> um, but it's a good way for the community to get across what they want. And, and that's what we're about. I mean, there, there are many parts of the community that need to be telling people what's going on. And that's something mm. that doesn't happen so much in, in the world of commercial radio now uh, and, and talk radio. Um, when that happens on a nationwide scale, they're only really interested in things of, of nationwide importance, not yeah. necessarily what's going on here in Southland. And, and much like Q Television, you know, Radio Southland has the opportunity to to reflect what goes on in, in, in our community. Um, of course, you're able to do that through digital television to a nationwide mm -hmm. audience. And uh, now that we have live streaming as well via our website, we're able to do that too. But it, primarily, it's about telling Southlanders. Uh, about what a wonderful place it is and, and who we are and, and what we have to offer, which is actually quite a lot. Yeah, and I guess it's always nice to, to do it that way as, as opposed to, you know, a lot of people are, are into like sending out emails and sending out flyers, but you just can't get all that information down. Sometimes, yeah, <laughs> and you don't necessarily read things and understand it. Mm -hmm. uh, Telling some, if, if you telling a joke, for example, I mean, somebody can tell you a joke, and you can retell it without having to have it written down. You just remember it. And and radio is just about talking about what you know, uh, much like television is about talking to people about what they know or, or, or telling people their stories. It's it's the same thing, except you don't have to worry about um, what you're wearing. Wonderful. Hey, thank you very much for coming in, Darren. Just before you go, where can people get in touch with you guys and what's your frequency? Absolutely. Well, we're in the phone book under Radio Southland um, and uh, we're on the uh, the internet, radiosouthland.org.nz. Org uh, give, give us a phone call, come in and see us. We'd love to hear from them. And our frequency is 96.4 FM. Wonderful. Hey, we'll catch up with you next month. Talk to you then. Thank you. Last week's read was about a woman's journey to find herself and the food, people and experiences she goes through along the way. And the winner of that was Wendy Devon of Parapara Umu Beach in Wellington. Congratulations to you. We do for a short break now, but when we come back, how long does it take to build a caravan from scratch? <laughs>